Hi, my name is Samantha Harrington and I'm a radiology resident at Massachusetts General Hospital. I'm just going to talk a little bit about my experience on a COVID unit. Um, so I had actually just gotten back from maternity leave in January. I had a little baby boy at the end of October. Things with COVID started to pick up in February and by early March is when things started to get more serious and shut down. And then we saw things escalate a lot in New York City and that's when in Boston, we really started kicking things into gear. Um, they started to put together um, surge teams at the end of March, and I served um, in early April on an inpatient COVID unit. I was essentially acting as a medicine intern during my time. They provided, the Department of Medicine at MGH provided a lot of training materials, probably spent hours. Um, learning how to put in orders in the Epic, um, donning and doffing PPE, um, the basics, how we would treat COVID patients. Essentially acting as an intern, I admitted, discharged patients, rounded, placed consults, placed orders, talked to families, things like that. Um, all my patients were floor um, patients, so they uh, either had been discharged from the ICU or they had just been admitted and we were sort of observing them. Most of them actually did really well and went home. I did have one patient who was younger than me that ended up intubated in the ICU, but he actually did okay in his home now. And I did have another patient who passed away, unfortunately. So reflecting upon my experience, I think overall it was, it was a good experience. I mean, it's obviously very different than what we expect to do during radiology residency, but I feel like I learned a lot. I learned about, um, you know, the basics of treating COVID, even though we don't really know a whole lot. Um, you know, I read a lot about the health inequalities and how this is affecting certain populations. And I feel like seeing it firsthand really drove that home. Um, the neighborhood in Chelsea was hit really hard here. Um, when I first started, almost all my patients were Spanish speaking patients. Um, I feel like I made some friends in other departments in the hospital. So that was really great. And I feel like also that's really the core of radiology is having relationships with your providers and your patients. Um, so I feel like that was a really great experience. It was definitely hard because we don't really have good treatments for COVID. There's still so much unknown. There's so much unpredictability and everyone's just trying to do the best that they can do in the certain situations. And I feel lucky that I was able to volunteer because not everybody can volunteer to work on a COVID unit for a variety of reasons. And really the best we can do if we can't do that is just stay home and keep everybody as safe with minimal contact. So I'm proud of my colleagues in radiology who are continuing to do that and stay home. As for our education, you know, I think the skills that we learned during those times, even though they're not the traditional radiology, you know, logging cases, I still think that they can be useful and transferable skills. And hopefully eventually, you know, all our volumes are gonna come back up and we can get into the more traditional sorts of radiology training. But overall, I think this time during the pandemic has been one that's pushing everybody to their limits and to think creatively and how everybody can pitch in in a different kind of way to help with the pandemic. and. I just hope that in the end, we all learn and we can come out stronger and better and innovate from this. And hopefully we can all turn something negative into something positive.